I was standing up and sitting down. It's not doing well on my legs. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here in Grand Finals action. J Master's doing the solo comms here. Just like the old days. Bringing it, bringing us back to uh, the classic days of uh, 2017. As right here, we got a classic Grand Finals match here. Emblem here versus Ken. Come on. Oh my god, that was sick. And he hits him again. Austin able to make it back, though, but a 98% deficit that he's got to come back from. And it looks like he's about to do that. No, doesn't really commit to anything else there. Going for the safe uh, ledge trap option instead. Can going all over the ledge there. Getting down smash punish there, but not too serious, though. Can still keep it lead, but back airing into the dash attack of Emblemere. Does not commit off that down tilt. Was probably looking to bait out an option there, but Ken, with the patience. As we go into another ledge trap opportunity, and catches him with the up smash. Catching that jump, beautifully done. Now Ken looking on the back foot right here. Trying to make a bit of space right now, but Austin getting in for a bit of percentage, 31%. Ken able to make it back to the ledge there. Avoids the down tilt. Gets a nair of his own. That up smash, that up smash was a little suspect, I'm going to be honest. Two of them kind of trying to see who's going to move first. Ken at quite the deficit here. He's got to be very careful going forward. Austin just trying to find an opening. At this high enough percent of your up throw, not quite going to do it. Forward air, not quite as well. And now Ken's got to be careful. The Aqua Jet's going to make him recover high. And Austin's able to get the punish off that. Ken's still looking to get this first kill here. 132. No, I think this is a new pickup, actually. He's been in a character crisis for a long time. I know, right? Throwing up air, a couple up airs, a couple upples. That sounded very strange. Oh, is Austin just kind of? Oh my God! Party mode, Austin. He's taking game one right there, solidly. I got to walk this one over here. Put the button. I gotta walk all the way back again. Sorry. Every day, my knees hate me more and more. As we go into game two right here, Ken gonna stick it out with the Corrin. And we are sticking with Greninja. Now, the interesting thing about this matchup, Austin does have experience with Corrin from Smash 4. I don't know how well that experience translates to here. Because I think I think early on in Smash Ultimate, he tried playing a bit of Corrin. I know uh, Malcolm did. As Austin kills himself. Um, but, like, you know, Austin at least knows the general game plan here. So, like, it's not like matchup and experience or anything that Austin's going to have. He actually knows the matchup. I think he knows the matchup quite well. And he knows how to, like, exploit Korn's many weaknesses in this game. Or maybe not many weaknesses, but just exploitable weaknesses. As the forwarder, not going to connect. Going to get a second chance. Oh, good shield. Good reaction there by Ken. Down tilt, up smash, though. Not quite. And Ken going to get a little bit of damage off there. He would have had a punish. I don't think he was ready to punch that, though. Because, honestly, I thought that down air was going to connect as well. And I was going to get ready to DI there, but... The dash attack. Red. The recovery. And is able to manipulate Corn's recovery there with Hydro Pump into that forward smash. And Austin bringing this back now. And trying to find a way off that platform right there. Austin commanding his space. Gets the down tilt. Not going to get the nair. Ken getting a good punish off that right there. The back air not going to connect. He's going to have to recover low at the stage. Austin not going to be able to do anything about that. But he's going to follow him across there. Now we're in another ledge trap situation. Which Ken is able to get out of that. But the back air not quite in time. Oh, that the spear just missing there. Or else that would have been some good damage. 
back air not quite gonna connect there. Avoiding the back air of Austin's though. Very good reactions, very good anticipation by Ken. Air up air, not quite enough. That second up air is gonna miss. Austin with a good dodge out of the way there. Is that gonna be dead? No. Oh no, he got him anyway. Up air, no, he did get him. Right into the corner of the back air. Just pretend the up air killed and it looked awesome. Throw off stage right here. Good avoidance by Ken. But that up, he's able to bring Austin back up to stage right here. He's able to get an easy recovery off that. Forward air not quite going to connect here. Ooh, a little slow on the nair there after that down tilt. Not aware that that is a true combo. But the slight hesitation right there. He's able to hit the neutral B there, but not quite fast enough to capitalize off that with a side B or something. Ooh, avoiding the up tilt. He was waiting on the, the tech option there, but was not quite able to get it in time. Up air, that'll kill. That'll get him. Back air, ledge guard situation. Austin gonna make it back onto stage. Is it gonna do a little do -si do sw swing your partner round and round? 10 now back in the center. That big back air right there. Getting the grab, back throw, another ledge trap opportunity. Back air, not gonna hit. Down tilt, no capitalization. Just runs up and grabs him though, but does not go far enough to get the forward air. Ken with a risky air dodge right through Austin. Was not expecting it though, as the downer. He's able to make it back though. He's able to cancel the momentum there. Just in time in the up air is gonna be enough for Ken to take game two. Oh, my knees. Hey, if anybody's uh, willing to sell their knees, I need new ones. Uh, these ones hurt whenever I use them. Um, I am willing to pay top dollar for new knees. Aiden, once again, not turning off his pro controller. Oh, God, and now we got drift. Oh god. oh god, oh god, oh god, <laughs> there we go. Jesus Christ. Your uh, daily reminder, Smash Bros. players, to uh, disconnect your pro controllers. All right, going into game three right here after that little uh, intermission. Controller problems. And a small battlefield now. We're going to say who's going to draw first blood. It looks like it's going to be Austin. Two back airs. Gets the third one. Gets the side B. Jesus Christ, man. That man is dead. <laughs> that was an all or nothing play right there by Austin. And it both worked and didn't at the same time. And I was just looking to do it again. Jesus Christ, Austin, please. <laughs> My God, this man has a family. <laughs> Ooh, going low for that back air. Corn's not going to be able to make that back. So get a little bit of damage in, though. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Austin going back to the ledge right there. Ken swinging for the fences, but not able to get a hit off that up air right there as he also falls out of the up smash. That would have been some good damage there. Side B gets parried, but no punish off that. Was kind of fearing the, the hitbox there, I think, so he just kind of waited for a reaction. Ken making the smart option, though, and just kind of jumping away. Back on the ledge right there, getting caught, though, with the drag down, but went a little bit too far for the up smash. Maybe he was maybe he was trying to read a tech roll or something, but. Oh, does not commit off that pin! 
I don't think the hitbox was quite there, though. I don't think he would have hit him with uh, the forward the uh, forward swing. Instead, opting for a uh, neutral B play right there as the back air is going to get that kill. Down till no finish. The forward air not going to finish the forward air this time. Not quite still. Don't get a rush right there, but does not get that tech, though. And Mamir goes up two to one, and I once again need to stand up. Yeah, if anybody can get me, uh, you know, a, a, a number to the black market or something, I just want to—I just want to buy someone's knees, basically. Like, just just brand, just brand new knees, uh, well conditioned. Uh, preferably something that's been like you know maintenance recently. I don't want to like go back to the shop, uh, you know, immediately after I buy them. So. But game four, tournament set, tournament game for Ken if he loses one more. So he's going to have to pull out his A game right here. He's going to play the best Smash Bros of his life. As Austin's kind of having a bit of fun with him off stage right here. He's not able to get the trump. Somebody got a notification. Give me that uh, ooh, good interruption by Ken with the down there. Yeah, get some good damage in. Avoiding the dash attack as well and hitting the nair. Awesome with a good reading of that forward smash. The back air is going to help Ken a little bit. He's going to make it back. Not after that. Good edge guards there by Austin. Sitting at a... Well, I was going to say 49%, but now that's 65. It's crazy how quickly those numbers rack up. Up throw. No follow-up after that. I was trying to read maybe a particular DI there, but Ken... Outsmarting Mr. Sanga. As the backer's not quite enough. The second one just missing. It's now Austin. Putting Ken in the corner. But he's able to get out of there. Forward air, the clash. What? This is Grands. Big forward air, dash attack, hitting the shield. Ken kind of staying in the corner right here. Austin, again, commanding his space. Just gets caught with the pin. Not going to do a whole lot, though. I saw... Ooh! Shadow Sneak getting interrupted, and Ken... In that, I'm surprised he didn't try and angle that forward smash down and try and go for a two-frame, maybe, but... Maybe he was, like, expecting Austin to, like, hit the ledge or something. I'm not sure. There's a back throw there. No follow-up. Austin, what are you doing? He did, he did the Ethan. No, he, he, I think he tried to air dodge or something, or he like neutral air dodged, and then he just wasn't able to do anything for like a second, and then he could not be in time. I don't know what happened there. So that's track. Not going to get the follow-up, though. Ken able to make it through with that uppy. This should be a nice guard. No, he misses. Ken going very low. But also still able to make it back. And just didn't hit with that forward air. Ken on his tournament stock now. Austin, a little bit behind at 48%, but he'll be able to make this... He'll be able to rack up that percentage very easily. Very quickly. As you can see right here. Uh, no. Oh, I mean... When Ken won, it was close, or when Austin was... I actually don't remember. I think they actually all were pretty close. Oh. I was trying to remember, like, I, I think it was last game where, like, Austin, like, zero to death Ken, but then couldn't make the recovery, so he just killed himself afterwards. <laughs> the forward smash. Now we're now we're looking very close here. Austin in a bit of more of an advantageous position. Down throw, back air. He missed. Ken not and able to capitalize, though. Not able to capitalize on that. Both of them trying to hit the, that aerial that gets them started on something. Up air end up missing. Ken's going to make it back onto the ground, but a new opportunity for Austin. And just got the back air. Nice. And that's going to be it. Cheers. Stick around, folks. Uh, pretty soon we're going to switch the stream over to uh, Mortal Kombat 1 for our top four. Oh, shit. Okay.